I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric inequalities. I'll take a few examples which will help you get started with these inequalities. And then we'll take up questions from previous IIT joint entrance examination test papers. The question here is find the range of the function y equals to sine square x minus 2 sine x minus 2. When we are saying range of the function, that means y value, maximum and minimum. How do we find it? Well, the strategy here is to write this function as uh, you write uh, completing the squares form, right? So like in the vertex form, that will help you to find the solution. Try to understand how we can do it. We are given the equation y equals to sine square x minus 2 sine x minus 2, right? So I could split this 2. Half of 2 is 1, right? So I could write this as sine square x minus 2 sine x. Now half of 2 is 1, so we can add and subtract 1 square. Exactly the step which you will do in completing the squares of quadratic equations, right? Now this becomes a perfect square and I could now write this as sine x minus 1 whole square, right? And minus 1 minus 2 gives me minus 3. So I get the value of y as equal to sine x minus 1 whole square minus 3. Do you see that? Now that is kind of a completing the squares thing. Now from here, we can actually find maximum and minimum values. Let us see how. To approach, we will see what is the value which sine x can take. And from there, we'll actually get our solution. All right. So from here, we know the value of sine x basically is in between minus 1 and plus 1. That is what sine x can have. Now, if I add minus 1 in all these, then I get minus 1 minus 1 is less than or equal to sine x minus 1, which is 1 minus 1. So I get minus 2 sine x minus 1, and here I get 0, right? 1 minus 1. We need to now square it, right? So if I square all these terms, they will become positive, correct? So, so basically, when I square, I get sine x minus 1 whole square. Now, square of minus is positive 4. And square of 0 is 0. So basically, this value should be greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 4. Does it make sense? So when you're squaring, things change a bit, right? You may have to use some common sense at this particular stage. And now we have to take away minus 3. So we get 4 minus 3 is greater than or equal to sine x minus 1 whole square minus 3. And that should be greater than or equal to 0. So 0 minus 3, right? So that actually gives you the minimum and the maximum value for the given expression. Correct? So from here we can write down our answer, which is sine x minus 1 whole square minus 3 should be greater than or equal to minus 3 and should be less than or equal to 1. Correct? So that is how you get the range of the given function. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So whenever you have a question like this, where you're trying to find the range of a function, or even minimum and maximum values of a function. That is the way to go about. So here, critical step here is to do complete the square and kind of uh, correlate with uh, vertex form of, uh, of a parabola, right? So use that strategy. Then it is much simpler to answer such questions. I hope it makes sense. 
Feel free to write your comment, share your views and watch all the videos in this playlist to get into the real intricate questions which you could expect in excellent test papers like IIT Joint Entrance Advanced Level. Thanks for watching and all the best.